So if you've been following me for a while, you have repeatedly heard me say that the Bose QC45s are currently my favorite headphones to recommend for traveling. Because first off, they're super comfortable, they come included with a very small case, but more importantly, they also block out a ton of noise. Now the QC45s block out almost as much noise as the Sony 1000 XM5s, but with less cabin pressure. And surprisingly, the QC45s block out noticeably more noise than the more premium Bose NC700s. Now, right now, I am doing a little bit of traveling, so that's why we're outside of the studio right now, but I do have some real-world airplane ANC tests for you, because ANC performance does change due to different atmospheric pressure around you. That's why some headphones, like the Sony 1000 XM5s, XM4s, and XM3s, all have atmospheric pressure sensors in them, so that they can recalibrate their active noise cancellation if you're at cruising altitude. Now, to my knowledge, neither of Bose's headphones have an atmospheric pressure sensor in them, but nonetheless, we're going to jump into an ANC test right now. Now, for starters, the Bose NC700s block out an adequate amount of noise for a pair of premium ANC headphones. However, when compared to these other two headphones, the NC700s are struggling to keep up here. Whereas with the QC45s, the QC45s are blocking out more engine noise than the NC700s, but the QC45s do have a constant high-pitched hum to them in the background. Whereas with the Sony 1000 XM5s, simply put, they just block out the most amount of noise here, and there's no high-pitched hum to them in the background, like with either of Bose's headphones. So, if you are looking for a pair of headphones to fly with, and if you want to block out the absolute most amount of noise, then you do want to go with the Sony 1000 XM5s because they block out noticeably more noise than both of Bose's headphones. However, if you are planning on picking up the XM5s, just be warned that the XM5s aren't my favorite headphones to travel with, mainly because of their very large case. Just simply put, traveling with this case just isn't super convenient because this case does have a rather large footprint to it, and it is rather thick. And also, the XM5s aren't the most comfortable headphones out there for long use sessions because of their shallow ear pads, which can press down on your ears, which can get a little uncomfortable after a while. And also they have their very thin and minimally padded headband, which after an hour or so can create a hotspot. Personally, I still highly prefer and recommend the Bose QC45s for flying because they also block out a ton of noise. But more importantly, they also come included with a much smaller case that just has a smaller footprint and is just thinner. And also the QC45s are more comfortable thanks to their more spacious ear pads and well padded headband. But now, I do want to enter the speculation territory. Now, the QC45s came out in the fall of 2021, and I wasn't impressed by them initially. But due to some missteps from other companies and due to a firmware update, which really did improve the active noise cancellation performance on the QC45s, so much so that they now block out more noise than the NC700s, the QC45s are currently my daily drivers. But now, there's the question of the successors for the NC700s. Now, the NC700s came out in the summer of 2019, and just given their overall performance and feature sets, I really feel that the NC700s are overdue for an upgrade. And plainly said, if you're trying to choose between either of these two Bose headphones, I highly recommend that you just go with the QC45s over the NC700s. 
Now, personally, I would like to see better active noise cancellation on the successors for the NC700s. That's pretty obvious. But I would also really like to see better battery life, a larger and more accurate touchpad, wear sensors that I can turn off when I take them out of the box, and also just better sound. I feel that the NC700s need better detail in the mids and stronger, harder hitting bass. And if and when the successors for the NC700s come out, we're going to have to keep a close eye on the active noise cancellation performance on the QC45s. Because when the NC700s came out, Bose pushed out a firmware update for the QC45's predecessors, the QC35s, and a lot of people, including myself, were able to measure a noticeable active noise cancellation performance decrease. Now, Bose denies that this ever happened, but perhaps Bose did this so that the NC700 would look more impressive compared to the QC35s. But regardless, I do feel that the successors for the NC700s will come out in sometime 2023. Personally, my money is in the summer of 2023. But until then, I still highly recommend the Bose QC45s for constant flyers. They block out a ton of noise, they come included with a small case, and more importantly, they're super comfortable to wear. But technically, if you want to block out the absolute most amount of noise, then you do want to go with the Sony 1000 XM5s. Albeit, they do have their drawbacks from my point of view.